Okay, take two. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, apparently, I, when I first started the broadcast, I had a um, error message come up saying that the portrait orientation lock was on or something, which I'd never seen before, but apparently um, it made me appear sideways in the um, in the feed. So um, hopefully that's all fixed. If you're here, let me know if you've seen me um, in the correct orientation and we'll try again. So hello everybody and welcome to the broadcast tonight. Uh, my name's Anne Murphy from Domus Felicity. If you didn't know me before, I'm um, Domus Felicity is all about helping people create a place to call home and home stands for homemaking, organizing, making do, education. So um, now I've just got to check that I'm in the group. Sorry. Oh, yep, I'm in the group. Ah, oh, technical issues. Um, yes, yeah, so this year I'm on a mission to help as many people as I can uh, organize your life. And I'm doing that by um, having uh, using the 26 fortnights in the year and there's 26 letters in the alphabet. So I'm going through the alphabet every fortnight and we're up to the letter B already. And the theme for the letter B is B is for basics. Hello, Alison, how are you? Um, and what I mean by basics is you can have an organized life if you live a more simple life and get back to basics like our mothers and grandparents did. Um, they had it actually a lot tougher than what we do today uh, with the, all the mod cons at our convenience. Um, they had to do a lot more. Um, they didn't have that luxury, but they still seem to have... Um, hi, Sonia, how are you? Long time no see. Um, they seem to have a lot, um, a lot easier way of life um, they never wanted for anything and they lived within their means and I think this is um, the way that I've been able to live um, a more organized life and lead um, a happier life I guess so I just want to start off by saying that if you're an organized really organized type of person you're clean and tidy all the time um, you're calm your home is peaceful and you have all the money that you need to do what you want um, with your life well then this broadcast isn't for you because you've got it all together um, this is the kind of life that I I live every day hi Tracy um, my home I guess if you could compare my home to what you see in the magazines it's not like that but it is my home and I love it I've made um, a point of loving it I love the things that are in it whether they've been handcrafted by me or whether they're um, being sourced secondhand or for free um, that even makes me more happy because I think wow I've got all that extra money now to spend on other things so um, that's what brings joy to my life but um, what you're going to find throughout the year and what I touched on basically um, in the last fortnight is that you need to really um, stop and think about what it is that makes you happy, like what you love, not what you're influenced by on social media and what she's buying and what um, they're making and what they're doing, not even what I'm doing, you know, like um, I'm only here as, I guess, a guide um, to share what I do in the hope that you might pick up a few hints. But, you know, use the internet to your advantage to find out what it is that you like. Um, if you're someone you're following on social media makes you feel less about your life well then unfollow them you know use the internet to research how to find more time in my day how to make life easier how to organize this space um, all that sort of thing just you know when I talk about getting back to basics too I don't mean grow all your own fruit and vegetables bake bread um, cook everything from scratch you have to decide what it is that you can do within your time and um, money constraints so what works for one person may not work for another and I really commend people who do grow their own fruit and vegetables and do bake their bread and you know I think of, I've seen so many people who do it and they homeschool their kids and they've got seven kids and you know um, they just to me it seems like they've got it all together but you never take 
um, take it for gospel that what you see on the internet is true. But, you know, I really commend people who do that. Um, why I don't grow fruit and vegetables? No one eats fruit and vegetables in my house other than my husband and I and my son with some vegetables. It's cheaper for me to go and spend $10 on fruit and vegetables for the week that I know will get eaten and they won't um, get wasted. I'd love it to be able to grow my own capsicums and roast them and make all these wonderful dishes with roast capsicum or zucchini or whatever, but what am I going to do with it all? It'd just be a waste for me. It'd be um, a use of, it wouldn't be a good use of my time. I'd rather use that time to do something else and usually doing it something that I want to do. So the underlying theme is to find out what it is that you really like to do and just try and make that whole process as easy as possible. And I'm going to be doing that over the next two weeks, focusing on um, different areas of your of your home. I'm going to be showing you my home. It's um, very basic. There's no fancy storage systems in place or fancy cleaning equipment or anything like that. It's just um, an ordinary home, comfortable family home. And it is one that I've got set up so that life is easy for me. So I have more time to do what I do. I, I work in, in my business, Domesticity, uh, most of um, my days, but other day, other times I, I craft or I paint my nails or I listen to meditations or I read or I, you know, life's too short not to be doing more of what, what it is that you like to do. So um, another thing that I don't do is baking bread. Um, I do have a bread maker and I have made, um, you know, fruit loaves and um, you can make cakes in them and stuff like that. But um, for a dollar a loaf of bread, that's far more um, easy for me to manage my time better. Um, sometimes it's a dollar fifty for a whole meal loaf, whatever, whatever I decide. And I also don't cook everything from scratch. But in saying that, there were times that um, money was even really tight. So I just had to adjust um, my grocery budget a bit more and start to make more things from scratch. So. Um, I'm trying to think of like yogurt was one the kids were a lot younger and we were eating a lot of yogurt so I made my own yogurt and there's lots of ways you can make your own yogurt I've got um, a post on the Domesticity website about how you can make yogurt in your slow cooker and you can use the easy yo um, little tub device and you don't even need the easy yo packets you can use the easy yo packet as a starter and then just add um, other yogurt or no um, skim milk powder or milk powder to make your own yogurts there's all these little hints and I would rather you uh, spend your time researching ways to do that to help you organize your life rather than watching what someone else is doing you know overhauling their pantry spending two hundred dollars on beautiful matching um, storage containers with pretty labels which may not may not even um, fit in with your lifestyle, with your busy lifestyle. You might work full time. You might might not have time to decant all your supermarket um, or your groceries into those things. And to keep on top of it, it's a big job to keep on top of it. That's just one example. It may look nice and it might make you feel nice when you look at those sort of things. But is it something that's really going to um, fit in with you and your family? And that's the underlying theme again. Find out what it is that you love and will make your job easier. Um, I have a lot of um, shortcut groceries that I buy, things like um, crumb chicken, the crumb chicken tenders, um, lots of little bottles of dressings. Hi Sandra, how are you? Um, good to see you here tonight. Uh, bread rolls in the freezer, wraps, you know, if but I've also got the flour in the pantry if I don't have wraps and I need wraps or I want to make um, Indian bread or something like that. I've got it there and if I've got the time, well, I will make it. But, you know, it's all about you and what um, will fit in with your lifestyle. So um, you do what you can with the time and the money that you have and spend time thinking about um what brings you joy, what, what's going to work in your family, um, 
not having to go out and buy something in particular to, to think that that's going to make your job any easier. More often than not, it's going to only cause more problems. So um, that's just the way that I've lived all my life. Even when I was earning the big bucks um, in the corporate world, uh, I still had this same um, way of thinking that if, if I could find, if I could use a cereal box or any sort of cardboard box from food packaging to store an item, I would, because that four, five, ten dollars that it would have cost me to go and buy a, a suitable container is better off in my pocket to put towards a night out, um, a beauty treatment, towards a holiday, whatever. And I just don't have to even think about going to the store. I don't have to be tempted by, you know, if I go in for one container, well, then I I see more containers and I see, um, oh, there's a mat or and there's some more towels and, you know, stay away from the shops as much as you can. And another tip that I have is I can't even remember how many years it's been since I've looked at a supermarket or a shopping catalogue. They just go straight from the letterbox into the bin. It doesn't matter how many times I put a note on the letterbox to say no more junk mail, but I don't look at any shopping catalogues. I'm not influenced by them. I don't I don't have to go and check specials every week. I just go straight to Coles. That's my shopping, that's my supermarket. I know the prices. I'm not phased by all this other busyness that's going on around me. I know what I like. I know what, it work, what works for me. So I want you to be able to find that out. I'm going to be just giving you tips, tips and hints along the way um, this year to help you um, try and uncover what it is that works for you. Hi, Shannon. No, you're not late. You missed the a bit of drama this, earlier. I had the camera around the wrong way. So this is take two. So um, um, you can watch the um, beginning, go back and watch the beginning again later. So I'm just going to, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I've still got dinner on in the oven um where it's late dinner here tonight i was really cranky because i took out some pork mince uh, from the freezer to defrost this morning when i went and checked on it after lunch there were somehow flies had got into the packet so i was really cranky about that i hate wasting food so i've just got dinner on in the oven now um so just to touch on a couple of rooms in your house just with the kitchen i talked about the pantry um i have a couple of clear plastic containers for my flour, sugar and um, icing sugar and a couple of other little ones for nuts to keep them more fresh. But other than that, everything else is in its jar or its um, uh, packet. I just use clips to keep, the, keep it tied together. And the basic underlying um, rule when it comes to organising any part of your house is just to store like with like. So um, the ultimate goal to being organised is being able to find um, what you want when you need it. So if you store like with like, tin food with tin food, packet food, you know, pasta with pasta, spices together, baking stuff together, um, sauces together, you know, that's that's about the only rule that I have when it comes to organising um, your pantry. When you're cooking as well, one thing I want to point out is um, all these celebrity chefs, you know, Curtis Stone is one. He was um, promoting these $10 feed your family meal deals. Now, I don't think I saw one that my family would have eaten. So same again, find out what it, you already know what your family eat, you know, um, make it simple, make it basic. There's nothing wrong with meat and three veg or spaghetti bolognese with some grated vegetables in it. You don't have to feel like, you're failing because you're not keeping up with the latest recipes or the latest um, celebrity um, chefs who have bought out cookbooks or the next person that's bought out a cookbook. What's the point of baking um, raspberry or pear and cinnamon muffins because someone told you to do it when no one will eat it? You know, just do what your family family ha um, likes and, and doesn't like. Um, same with breakfast or, you know, any meal. Just do what, what works for your family. Don't be influenced so easily by what other people are doing, thinking that it's going to help you. Try it by all means if it helps. Well, that's that's good, but um, just find out what works for you. Um, same in the kitchen with your appliances and your um, 
cutlery, crockery, you know, at the end of the day, a plate is a plate, a bowl is a bowl, a fork is a fork. They don't have to be matching, they just have to serve a purpose. Um, with appliances, um, I'm still out as to whether a thermomix would help me because I've just been cooking a particular way for so long and that's that's what I enjoy. But if a thermomix will help your life and you like it, well then buy one. But don't feel like because someone else says, oh, thermomix really has changed my life. I know we've got some thermomix lovers in our group and um, that's fine, but um, don't feel compelled. You just find the easy way to do things. If I guess if you're not a not one that cooks a lot of, oh, I don't know about a thermomix. If you're one that just likes to cook basic meals, you know, you, you don't need a thermomix. The oven just works just as well. Actually, I've just got my dinner on in the oven now and I'm not cooking it, I'm not standing over a hot stove. You've got the slow cookers. Nearly every home has a slow cooker now. Um, just find out what works for you. Um, Organising, I've talked about storage. I can remember back in my um, day as a child where there was no such thing as those big plastic tubs. You, you, all, you only ever had enough storage in your home for what you had. You didn't have to go and store um, your belongings off site or in a shed or in a plastic tub. Uh, we've got way too much stuff in our house now um, that we've just got to organise or clean or um, just do something with. You know, simplify your life. Get back to basics. Do you need those home decor items? What's going to happen when you get tired of looking at them? Are you going to just throw them away or um, resell them or just put them in a storage box? You know, just don't think that you need to have your house filled with these types of things to make your life easier. Rather, reduce and reuse and repurpose than buying new. Um, clothes. Um, you've probably heard so much in the media about clothes and how fashion has become such a throwaway um, problem with so much, um, like going right back to the producing the cotton to creating the garments. And I was in Myers today with my daughter and and I used to love going to Myers when I worked in the city and, you know, you'd sort through some of the discount racks and pick up some good buys. But there was like two or three floors of women's fashion today and I, I'd say you'd need three days to go through um, everything. Alison says, uh, my brother recently boasted about buying 76 plastic tubs to organise his crap. Yes, a lot of it, it's academic, but wow. Yeah, exactly. And... Um, you know, maybe you are um, an academic and you do have lots of books and that's the best way to store them. But really, why are you hanging on to this stuff? And you're only really leaving it for somebody else to organise if, if something happens to you. And, you know, it's it's a terrible situation. I've still got my mums and nanas things that I'm so, slowly sorting through. Um, I, am, I am working on um, making a final cull and... I want you to stay tuned for that because it could be quite emotional. So, um, yeah, so what I, I something I wanted to do a long time ago was create what's called a capsule wardrobe. So um, you only have, say, 20 pieces of clothing, but they all um, interchange and match with each other. And I did it for my winter wardrobe last year and I'm doing it for my um, summer wardrobe. It doesn't mean that I don't buy any new clothes. I don't really need to buy any new clothes, but it means that I just don't go and buy anything because it's on sale or I like that colour. It has to fit in with my capsule wardrobe. So if you want to find out more about capsule wardrobes, I'll um, discuss that more um, in the group and I'll show you um, my, my clothes and my wardrobe. I still have a bit of a, a shoe fetish. that I don't think that will ever go away, but it's not... Um, like a Melda Marcos or anything. I think I could have maybe 10 or 12 pairs, but um, which is quite a lot, but, you know, we all have to have some luxuries, I guess. Um, so that's close. Um, the budget, um, you know, I don't, I don't follow anyone in particular when it comes to budgeting or financial advice. I just do what's always worked for me, and that's just don't live beyond your means. You know, work out how much income you get. Pay for the essentials which includes food clothing and shelter and you know save save some of it um, don't overspend on your groceries don't buy things unnecessarily just because someone told you to buy them um, 
I don't know who Dave Ramsey is, but his name keeps popping up everywhere and there's so many devotees of him. And if, if he can help you get out of debt and get your finances on, on track, well, that's great. But uh, it doesn't have to be so complicated. It's just as a matter of um, what I like to, the way I like to look at it is um, create, uh, think of your home as a business. So any money coming in is only going to benefit your home or your business. And you don't want to be, um, you want to be operating at a profit. So you don't want as much money to go out. So that's the way I look at it. Cleaning, you don't need um, uh, fancy cleaning products. You know, I don't even, the only time I go down the cleaning aisle is to buy my dishwashing liquid and um, laundry powder. I don't use a bleach, I think is the other one, but I use water and a microfiber cloth for most of my cleaning. Um, that's that's it. You don't does you know you don't have to worry about asking what's the best thing to clean windows. You know just water and newspaper or a bit of methylated spirits if you if you really want. You know uh, so many companies have made absolute squillions of dollars on all these cleaning products when years ago like women in my grandmother's time still had the same dirt and grime in their homes as what we do. But they didn't have all these fancy equipments and their homes were lovely and clean. So. Now just bring it all back, simplify the process, get back to basics, go and borrow some books from the library about getting back to basics. But stay with me um, for the next fortnight and I'll share how I do it and hopefully you'll learn a few things. Um, bargains was another thing I wanted to talk about. Um, is the cost of the bargain... Oh, well, how am I going to word this? Um, is the cost of the bargain worth it for the after effect of having to store it if you don't like it or you don't want it anymore? You know, is that home decor item really going to make your life any better, make your home look any better if it was only $3 on sale? You know, like think about think about the object. Is it bringing you really true value um, to your home? Is it is it purposeful? Can you use it? Um, you know, even think think about the carbon footprint. How did it get there? How was it made? You know, start to be more conscious of, of what you're buying and, and really think about, is it really a bargain? Um, and I'm not saying, you know, don't ever buy anything. You know, one of the greatest things um, that I like is, is treating myself. I, I like to have that little bit of extra money to go and treat myself and treat myself to, you know, morning tea out with the girls or... Um, you know, a new, um, just recently bought a new pair of swimming togs, um, whatever it is, I, you know, whoop de doo I went out today and bought myself a new pen, but, you know, it's kind of, um, kind of a little bit sparkly and um, that's really all I bought today because I didn't find what I was looking for at Myers and also I had my teenage daughter with me who was like, oh, I'm tired, can we go now? So I'll wait till they're back at um, school. And I've just got some my gift cards that I've got to use up. So I'll wait till I um, have the time to enjoy the process. But you know, by all means, treat yourself, but really think about what it is you're buying and, and rather an experience like, like a massage or a, a um, manicure or a pedicure or you know, get your hair done, whatever it is. But by all means, don't don't just think that I'm saying, you know, get back to basics, live off the grid and don't ever buy anything again. You know, life's meant to be enjoyed. But if you can cut back on all these other areas of your home um, by getting back to basics, you know, who knows, by the end of the year, you could have enough money saved up to go take your family to Disneyland or go on another family holiday. So, um like I spoke about last fortnight, practice mindfulness, you know, five minutes a day, whenever you can find five minutes. Uh, do you like it, Rosine? It's cute, isn't it? Of course, it's a real diamond. You know that, don't you? Um, practicing mindfulness is just about bringing your mind back to, to what you're doing right now um, in the moment. Just, just breathing, just breathe in and out and focus on your breath and clear your mind. Just clear your mind of all the fussiness and busyness that's going on around you. Um, start to 
you know enjoy yourself and and get back to what in it what it is that you like find out what it what it is you like you know um don't be so influenced by other people on on the internet um truly find out what it is you love um, educate yourself like i said go and buy borrow some books on the library uh, from the library or you know hang around here and um, ask questions i don't mind answering if i can answer by all means i will um or i can research it for you um, i'm only here to help that's what i'm here for and i love this one don't worry about the fomo fear of missing out you're not missing out if you don't go and buy that pie maker from kmart you're not going to miss out if you don't join the pie maker kmart group you're not going to miss out if you um don't have that latest thing from kmart or you don't have that um, fancy pantry. You, you're only going to be helping yourself. Alison says, I have been doing a 30-minute meditation each day this week to try and get myself back to me. That is wonderful, Alison. I do it too. I do it on a regular basis, and it is just such a wonderful thing. I actually did, I bought something else too. I, it must be outside, some um, incense. I love to burn, um, uh, have essential oils in the diffuser, but I bought some incense as well. Um, it is it's just such a lovely experience and it's really special to you so I'm glad you're doing that and book me into that um, relaxation room of yours I'm coming <laughs> um, yeah you don't need you don't need the fancy pantry you don't need the well-organized um, linen closet with all the fancy baskets and everything like that fold everything similar that, that's another thing I wanted to mention about the world's gone crazy for the KonMari method and Marie Kondo, my God, my, my grandmothers and their grandmothers and, you know, were living in, in grass huts with dirt floors back in the, at the turn of the 19th, uh, the 20th century. Um, and their houses were spotless and everything was organized. They, they didn't have Marie Kondo around to tell them how to fold something and, you know, whatever she does, I haven't even read her book. They just took pride. They, they loved their home. They loved the people in their home. They just lived such a basic and simple life that that's what all that brought them joy. And they, they found real joy in that, real joy in homemaking. And that's what I do too. So I'm going to go and see if my um, dinner is burnt to a crisp. Um, but I really want to thank you for joining me tonight. And feel free to ask any questions over the next two weeks about um, getting back to basics and how you can... Um, do something a more basic way whether it's cooking or cleaning or organizing I don't mind sharing any of my cleaning recipes I have a few cleaning recipes for stubborn stains or for washing or um, anything you know back to school lunch boxes I'll, I'll drop a few links um, with easy um, lunch box menu planning you know like a fridge printout that you can um, use so you now, you don't need to go and buy all these fancy um, lunch boxes that people promote either. Yeah, you're right, Shannon. Um, it's like I'm not saying go all out and be minimalist, you know, like um, Shannon says there's a lot to be said for being minimalist. Um, there's one extreme or, you know, there's the other where you've got way too much stuff and it's just about finding what works for you. You know, a lot of people say... Um, that I might have a few too many knickknacks around, but they're little things that bring me joy um, and that's what works for me and I can manage to clean them. Thank you, Shannon. Um, oh, thank you. That's lovely. Um, yeah, I, I was going to have this really lovely Vietnamese pork meatballs tonight, um, but the pork mince. So we're having sausages and wedges and stuff, but I'll share the, the photo um, in the Shop Smart Eat Well group. And it's lovely of you to say that, Shannon. Thank you very much. Um, thank you, everyone, for joining me. And um, catch me. I won't give you any warning. I'll just pop up in the group over the next two weeks sharing um, different rooms and different cupboards and things like that in my home. Don't expect to see anything out of a magazine. It's just simple, basic, and it works for me. So I love you all. Thank you very much. Bye.